<laughs> Good morning. Today's video is going to have some street language in it. <laughs> and you'll understand why as I give you the title and a little bit of the blurb of what I'm going to be talking about. The title today is Ghetto Physics and the Paradigm Shift. Last night in our Spiritual Enlightenment group, besides discussing current affairs in Rusa and more, we watched and discussed the movie Ghetto Physics from the makers of What the Bleep Do We Know. <laughs> One critic wrote, This isn't chicken soup for the soul. It's a bitch slap for the slumbering. It's about the game we all play on this planet and the paradigm shift that's happening everywhere. It's based on the companion book, Ghetto Physics, Redefining the Game. Here's the link to watch the entire movie online. And of course, that link will be provided both on YouTube and Facebook. And it can be watched on YouTube. Oh, where to begin? <laughs> We began, uh, there was a whole bunch of us there, a half an hour before the meeting officially begins, in which time and after the movie, we also talked about Rusa and the element of those people in Rusa that are trying to set up a theocracy because they're afraid, because they want their narrow viewpoints protected uh, so therefore, by tr in trying to protect their viewpoint, they put it up there where it becomes offensive. And, and that's the worst way to try to protect something, is to try to promote it as if it's the only right answer. <laughs> but I'm not going to talk about that this morning. That's not the subject matter. The subject matter is, is this movie that I watched last night. And I'm actually going to read the synopsis of it. It's an in-your-face wake-up call. Ghetto physics shows how the game of life is played. And it's all the same game. From the corner offices of Wall Street to the inner sanctums of world governments. From the red light districts in the ghettos to the living rooms behind the white picket fences on Main Street game is happening and if you don't know it the game is going to roll right over you african-american philosopher filmmaker e raymond brown plays the cocky professor explaining the life game to a class of clueless and initially indifferent students who have no idea that the modern world is all about making you think a certain way through a series of interviews, animation, and dramatic sequences, he reveals not only how the life game works in politics, global economics, technology, media, and entertainment, he points the finger at the global power brokers pulling the strings, making world populations dance to their tune. The film includes interviews with Notable entertainers and modern thinkers, such as Dr. Cornell West, Ice-T, KRS-One, Too Short, John Perkins, former Congresswoman Cynthia McKinney, transformational consultant Byron Katie, and Norman Lear. That's, that's all I'm going to read. Uh, Norman Lear, by the way, was the producer of All in the Family. I, I found it interesting to hear his insights as well as Cynthia McKinney, who ran for president. She, I voted for her for president in the last election, by the way. I was ready for a black woman, <laughs> not just a black man. Anyway, uh, John Perkins is the author of uh, Economic Hitman, who was an insider working for the government. And he talked some about how that process works. But the whole film was based on the concept of pimps and hoes. For those of you that don't understand American slang, a hoe is a prostitute, a harlot, <laughs> okay? A woman 
or man who sells sex for money. And the theme of the movie was that every single one of us without exception is a pimp and a hoe. Not a pimp or a hoe. A pimp and a hoe. And that's a basic philosophy that we're all going to have to learn. Because we've been indoctrinated to think a certain way. I am either the pimp or the hoe, but I ain't both. I'm one or the other. I'm the Democrat or the Republican, but I ain't both. I'm the conservative or the liberal, but I can't be both the conservative and the liberal. My God, no. It's the philosophy that's been pushed down our throat of polarization. That you have to either be this or that. Because the two are at war with each other, don't you know? They're in the duality battle game. The game of life we call war, we call dissension, we call, hmm, what do we call it? Argumentation. Who's right? Is it the pimp or is it the hoe? Which one's right? Well, they both are, and they're both wrong. See, we can't get through the concept of both and. I am both this and that. In fact, I am all of it. I am the microcosm and the macrocosm. I create my world by how I perceive it. And perceiving our world is called a paradigm, how we perceive our world. If we perceive our world as a constant conflict, as an eternal battle between good and evil, right and wrong, up and down, dark and light, God and the devil. If we perceive our reality that way, and let's face it, folks, we've all been brainwashed in that indoctrination. We've all, every single one of us on this planet, has had that training. Well, you might if you want to exempt anybody from it, you might exempt certain indigenous groups that have not been at all touched or influenced by the so-called Western or modern world. Oh, yes. We've all been there, done that, had that done to us, had that done by us, because we are all the actors and we are the playwrights of our own drama of life. And so many of us play the hoe, which is also the victim, because the pimp gets 100% of the profits, and the hoe that does all the work gets zero. But he or she gets protected by the pimp. It's all a protection racket, you see. The pimp is the protector. The pimp is the one that provides the structure, that tells you what to do because you don't want to think for yourself. Oh, and you think the pimp isn't also a hoe playing the game for the pimps that are higher up the ladder? Oh, yes. It's all a game, and it's all a pyramid or a ladder. And somebody... Somebody at the top is reaping all the benefits and all the profits without any of the doing any of the work. That's the game that we're involved in. The international bankers sit at the top and they provide no product, no benefit, no service, except to deceive everybody else. The brainwashed ones, or the brainwashers, I should say. They are the brainwashers. They may be the hoe. They may hi they hire the hoes to play the politicians, to play the the little guy bankers, to play the CEOs of the corporations, 
to play the preachers and the religious leaders of our world. And the whole game is to polarize and get people looking over here while they're doing their little thing over here. Like the recent attack on the embassy in Libya in which the U.S. ambassador was killed. And it never happened. There is no embassy in the town that the news media told us about. And they forgot to tell us that there's only one U.S. embassy in Libya, and it's in Tripoli. It's not in whatever the name of the town was that they've been saying. There is no U.S. embassy there. It's all a smokescreen, probably done by the Mossad. And Israel, again, Israel and the U.S. play this little game. And Britain gets involved in it a little bit, too. It's all the game. It's the game to brainwash us and to get us distracted so that we don't see what's really going on in the world except for one little factor. There's a paradigm shift going on. And because of the internet, people are waking up. Because of the internet, you can watch the movie. You don't even have to go to the theater to watch it. You can watch it right online, on demand, unless it's blocked in your country for some reason. And I understand that that happens in some countries. But you can watch the movie. And you can think. Oh my God. You can actually think for yourself. And you can see in street language and in, and in drama and in humor and in explanation how this whole thing works. How this whole game of the Matrix works. This Monopoly game where everything is about money. Is it really? Is it really only about money? That's what we're led to believe. It's all about acquiring material things with money. Is it really? I don't think so. It was an interesting movie indeed, as was the discussion that followed. I mean, lots of interesting points made in our spiritual enlightenment group. This is the kind of thing we do from time to time. We watch things that are provocative that make us get outside of our own boxes of, of comfort, our own comfort zones. Because that's how we're going to change the world. We are the pimps. I'm one of the pimps that is helping you to see the bigger picture, just like the movie did. To see the bigger picture so you can follow your own heart and trust your own gut, because that's the direction I'm pointing. I'm not pointing you to what's happening out there, although I'll talk about things that are happening out there. I'm saying, but you really got to find your answer in here. What do you want for your life? Not what do they make you think you want. How many of the ideas and the goals that you have in your life are your own? Because you've chosen that idea. There's a choice that they say that we must make in the movie. We've got to make the choice to be both the pimp and the hoe the victimizer and the victim, and then we can dance between them instead of dueling. When we're either or, we're going to be dueling. And that's why people in the Republic that, that are still stuck in the old paradigm thinking of God versus the devil and good versus evil can never be true leaders. Because you can't lead even your own life if you don't see the dance. If you're still caught up in the BS of the, of the propaganda that it's either or. It's not either or. It's all of the above. It's all of the above. I am all of it. I am part of creation. And I am the creator of my own experience of creation. I take full responsibility, and you can't have freedom without taking full responsibility. You can't have freedom when you're involved in the paradigm of either or. I'm either this or that. I'm either in the Republic or I'm not in the Republic. And you have people telling you, well, you can't be in the Republic unless you think like us. You can't be in the game unless you think the way we think. And if you don't like it, leave. Get out. Get out. That's the attitude of some people. And it won't work. It won't work this time because the human race is waking up. Not fast enough for some, 
too fast for others. But nevertheless, we're starting to get it. And it's just a game. It's just a game. And we're all in the ghetto called Earth. We're all in the matrix on this planet that has been designed to enslave most, to take the resources of the many for the benefit of the few. That's the game. The pimp plays the game and uses all of us as the hoe. It's the prostitute. When are we going to drop out of the game and make a decision for ourselves? That's what I'm asking you. It's happening. It's happening. I thank you for listening. I hope I didn't offend anyone. If I did, oh well. Namaste. <coughs> Excuse me.